Okay, so quick demo demo just to show you how to upgrade your laptop RAM. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to CPUID.com, download a program called CPUZ, run that program. This will tell you all the information about your CPU and your memory. But what we're interested in is the memory SPD tab. Now here, this will tell us how many slots we have, the type of RAM, what's installed at the moment, so we need to look for that RAM. We therefore know, without opening the, the laptop up, we need to look for that RAM, which in this case is PC2-6400. I want to I want to upgrade that so I know on slot 1 I've got 1024 megabytes 1 gigabyte of uh, PC2600 and on slot 2 I've got 2 gigabytes now I'm keeping the 2 gigabytes and I'm going to put another 2 gigabytes in slot 1 so I need to replace that 1 gigabyte with another 2 gigabyte of the same memory type then once that's ordered I can put the new RAM in. Okay, so our RAM's arrived. We need to turn the laptop over, locate the memory section on the back of the drive, and un unopen that with a screwdriver. Okay, so once we have our compartment open, you'll see the memory inside. To release that memory, the little tabs either side, just unclick those, and that's it, it should flip open. That one looks to be, obviously it's, there's more memory modules on that dim. So that one's the one I want to keep. It'll be this one, which is the one I'm looking to replace. Come out. Just fine. That would be the one gigabyte. Yep, one gigabyte. Okay, so we're now going to replace that with our 2 gigabyte dim. Put that in the same way the last one come out. Okay, so with the top one out of the way, you can see that one goes in dead at an angle, like that. Give it a click. So it's in, and then it just pushes straight back down, like that. And it clips in place. And put the other one back. Again at an angle, just like that. Pushes down, clips in place. Then you screw the screw your cap back on. And then that's it. All that's left now is to turn on your computer, check your uh, system settings, and make sure the RAM's been. Um, detected and everything's working fine. I will say make sure you don't wear any uh, static -y clothing such as a fleece jacket or a jumper. Make sure you make sure you're just wearing wearing a t-shirt while you do it. Any static will kill the kill the components. Okay by going to control panel and then system we can see that it's picked up now the new RAM and it's got four gigabytes in there from three gigabytes previously and the Windows Vista in experience has rated the memory operations per second upwards to 5.9 that's it easy